Uh, now the power system in uh, my VQ P47 is the same as the FMS 1700 mil Corsair. So it's got a 50, 60, 360 kV motor with a 17 by 10 by 4 prop and 100 amp ESC. So that's, uh, that's the power system I have uh, in the model here. Well, here we are out at the flying field about to maiden the VQ P47. Let's see how we go. A little bit of a breeze, but not, uh, not too bad. Quite nice, actually. But uh, let's see. Let's see how we go. Here we go. The maiden. Right, we're just going to taxi her down. Lift her off. Trim her out. Bring her back into land. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Woof! I'm going to move that battery back a bit. She is really bouncing around there on the front. Alright, let's try again. Here we go. Whoa! She certainly handles nicely. Okay, gonna go around. She's certainly responsive to all the controls, that's the main thing. But she weighs a ton, as we know, so. Whoa. Okay, well that's interesting. There goes a retrack. At least she's in uh, at least she's in one piece. Gosh. Uh, so I am back home after the Maiden and looking at the retract. So what happened was that the mounting pin just completely sheared off. You can see the you can see the 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 rest of it there. How bizarre that look I know I came in a bit hot, but I've never had a mounting pin shear off. I mean I've had the whole retract rip out. There is nothing that is all as firm as can be. Nothing's loose there. The same with this one over here. It was a bit muddy at the field. The same here. This is all rock solid. Nothing has broken or cracked or anything. So that is, uh, that's what happened. So I, I, I just don't know how hard I came in that would would break, which would break that rather than rip that out. The wingtip seems fine, but went into the crown. Nothing, nothing got scratched on the bottom of the uh, the cowling. So I think I uh, actually escaped quite well there. So I just need to fix it up until next time.